So Paul Rousse Sambagina, the man whose story was featured in the Hollywood film Hotel Rwanda, is due to be released from prison. In 2021, he was sentenced to 25 years on terrorism charges tied to an organization opposed to Rwandan President Paul Kagame. Rousse Sabagina worked as the manager of a hotel in Kigali during the 1994 genocide and saved the lives of more than 1,200 people. Malcolm Webb is joining us from Goma. Malcolm, what are you learning? We've heard from the Rwandan government that Paul Rousse Sabagina uh, is... Uh, to be released either later today uh, or possibly on Sunday, in spite of one and a half years ago having been sentenced to 25 years uh, for terrorism, uh, as you said. Now, we know that the U.S. Uh, has been putting pressure on the Rwandan government for his release. Rusi Sabagina has a permanent right uh, to, to live in the United States. Uh, President Paul Kagame of Rwanda is uh, mentioned this once or twice over the last month, saying that this situation at some point uh, might be resolved. Now, Rwandan government sources uh, have said that Rusesa Begina has written a letter to President Kagame pleading clemency. We don't know if that's true or not, but it would certainly be at odds uh, with everything that Rusesa Begina and his associates have said uh, since he was uh, detained in August 2020 in what was widely described as a kidnapping or abduction. He was in Dubai at the time and was deceived and boarded a plane uh, that was paid for by Rwanda's government and flown to Kigali uh, against his will. His detention and trial followed that and throughout the trial he refused to participate. Uh, he said it wasn't fair, as did international uh, legal watchdogs and rights groups. Malcolm, put a little bit more context, and you've begun to do so, context around this for us, because uh, Paul Rousse Sabagina is considered a hero by many internationally and then convicted on terrorism charges domestically. Well, he had become a critic of Rwanda's president, Paul Kagame, uh, and there was uh, some videos on YouTube that indicated that he uh, was affiliated uh, with a political opposition group that was also connected to uh, an armed group here in Democratic Republic of Congo that wanted to overthrow uh, Rwanda's government. Uh, this was the evidence that Rwanda said uh, indicated uh, that he was guilty of the crimes with which he was eventually tried, uh, but legal rights groups say that uh, evidence was never uh, presented uh, in meaningfully in court in that trial that they said uh, was unfair. Uh, now, political opposition and rights groups in Rwanda have for decades documented uh, disappearances, assassinations and uh, uh, detentions of, of government critics. Uh, so in that sense, there was nothing new about these uh, complaints. But what was different in this case is that Hollywood had already told the story and they said Rusesa Begina uh, was a hero. And so when he was uh, produced in Kigali in a pink jumpsuit wearing handcuffs. That caused outcry, uh, particularly in the US, uh, which resulted uh, in, we understand, substantial diplomatic pressure from America on Rwanda over the, the subsequent uh, couple of years. Right, Malcolm Webb reporting on this for us from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Thank you.